Greetings, and welcome to an introduction to the ASH Research Collaborative's Data Hub program. This is part one of a two-part series. My name is Dr. Bill Wood, and I'm a hematologist and oncologist at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. I also serve as the chair of the ASH Research Collaborative's Data Hub Oversight Group, and I'm also a senior medical advisor to the ASH Research Collaborative. In part one of this presentation, we'll discuss why the American Society of Hematology created the ASH Research Collaborative, and more specifically, its Data Hub program. We'll also discuss how and what data is captured within the Data Hub. In part two, we'll cover data quality, data access and use, and plan future developments for the Data Hub. So let's get started, beginning with the ASH Research Collaborative and its Data Hub program. The ASH Research Collaborative was established in 2018 by the American Society of Hematology to foster collaborative partnerships that accelerate progress in hematology research and treatment. The ASH Research Collaborative's goal is to improve the lives of people living with blood diseases. At the ASH Research Collaborative's foundation, there are two aligned efforts focusing on sickle cell disease. First, the Data Hub Sickle Cell Disease Program, and second, a sickle cell disease clinical trials network. Data Hub is a centralized real-world data program that was created to facilitate the sharing of data on hematologic conditions to support scientific inquiry and discovery. Now, if I can draw your attention to the left of this diagram, you'll see that the Data Hub can ingest data from a multitude of sources. Our focus now is ingesting data from participating institutions who transmit their electronic health record data to the Data Hub. Data Hub data will be used to enhance clinical care by providing analysis of practice patterns and patient outcomes. The aggregated data also allows for identifying gaps, quality improvement, and developing models that can support personalized care. Data Hub data will also be used to support research by generating control groups for clinical trials, post-market surveillance, um, and potentially required post-approval studies and investigator-initiated observational research. Because our technology is capable of capturing heterogeneous data, we are well positioned to be a centralized real world longitudinal research data hub. As a major initiative within the ASH Research Collaborative, the data hub aims to create the largest shared information resource within the global hematology community. Currently, the data hub has four programs, the Sickle Cell Disease Data Hub, the Sickle Cell Disease Learning Network, the COVID-19 Registry for Hematology, and the Multiple Myeloma Data Hub. Our intent is to build additional programs for other malignant and non-malignant hematologic diseases once our current programs have reached maturity. Now, let's talk about how data are captured within the Data Hub. Data are currently sent to the Data Hub using the following data submission pathways. The Observational Medical Outcomes Partnership, or OMOP, Common Data Model, and FAST Healthcare Interoperability Resources, or FIRE. Using standards-based data submission pathways allows for harmonized data sets, which in turn allow for scalability and strategic alignment across our programs. The data collected then pre-populates an electronic case report form so the site can curate and validate their EHR data, as well as collect additional data that are not always captured well within the structured fields within the electronic health record. An example of the pre-populated electronic case report form can be seen here. You'll notice that sites have the ability to add or update data for each patient. Data collected in the Data Hub are longitudinal and include information from the complete electronic health record, including medications, vitals, clinical notes, and other data. The first version of the United States Core Data for Interoperability, or USCDI version 1, has been adopted as a standard in the ONC Cures Act final rule. The USCDI sets a foundation for broader sharing of electronic health information to support patient care. Here, you can see sample inclusion criteria for cohort selection derived from ICD-9, 10, and SNOMED codes. As our programs mature, we aim to find clearer and more precise definitions around electronic phenotypes of interest to improve sensitivity and specificity for the underlying health concepts that they represent. Soon we'll be launching a portal for our sickle cell disease sites where sites can view a dashboard 
with trended information about their patients' events related to sickle cell disease, including acute events, pharmacotherapy, cerebrovascular, renal, and other sequelae of sickle cell disease. Each disease site will have its own dashboard and the metrics will be selected by the appropriate Data Hub subcommittee. Site portals are confidential and no other sites have access to each other's information. The portal will also provide other functions such as exporting data, more in-depth querying, and managing who at each site can access these features. You can see here our multiple myeloma site portal. Similar to our sickle cell disease portal, sites have the ability to create specific cohorts using the metrics in the far left column. Here's an example of the types of metrics our sickle cell disease dashboard currently displays for participating sites. The Data Hub Sickle Cell Disease and Multiple Myeloma Subcommittees continue to reevaluate which metrics are most important to providers, our participating sites, and to others, and will continually modify these metrics as needed over time. So in summary, the ASH Research Collaborative's Data Hub is building a centralized, real-world data platform to support research and enhance care for people living with hematologic conditions. Participating sites include clinical care sites who submit longitudinal hematologic patient data at least every three months. The Data Hub will also accept locally curated data when available and includes pre-populated ECRFs for sites to validate the completeness and accuracy of their data submitted. Data are used for research and generate to site portals that display metrics for clinicians to monitor and track their clinical practice and patient outcomes. This concludes part one of the presentation. In part two, we'll discuss Data Hub data quality, data access, and other uses of the data.